Did you know? I understand. Oh, uh, yeah. I know you've been seeing it. Oh you know? yeah, yeah, it's uh, crazy. You it's got a wife, you got kids, and mm -hmm. you got people out here who just yeah. snatching them up. Well, you guys are doing a wonderful job, man. I appreciate all y'all feel. Sign Christ bless Captain Paul with this United in Christ. What we out here doing today, we out here in the neighborhoods trying to find our people, all right? What you see above us is the missing people uh, flyer. In our neighborhoods, in Oklahoma by itself, 121 reported cases of people that's being taken for uh, sex trafficking. So there's no news about it on the internet. There's no way to find out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take matters in our own hands to make sure that we're going into the neighborhoods and searching for our people, all right? So that's what we're doing. We are here campaigning for the missing uh, missing people uh, campaign to make sure that we put an outbreak in in our community so we can bring our people home, all right? Most of the people that's being taken is blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in our community. So we must do something about it. And I challenge you to do something about it as well, all right? Shalom, most high in Christ bless. Israel United in Christ. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent, Bible-based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat, as stated in Leviticus chapter 5, verse 1. That brother counted hard. All praises. Hey, shalom, most high Christ blessed. Welcome to another edition of Precept Upon Precept. Uh, I am your host, Officer Matthew. To my left, Officer Mikayo. Uh, to the far left, Tess, Officer Micah. And Officer Akiem. Officer Akiem. Officer o Brother. Officer Brother, Brother. So uh, today we are going to smash on. Pagan Easter. If you're celebrating Easter, you're celebrating the doggone devil. That's oh, right. I'm going to just be straight with you. If you're celebrating Easter, you celebrating the devil. If you're celebrating Easter, you're a silly Christian. You are celebrating the devil. If you do the devil's work, you the devil. You're a child of Satan if you're celebrating Easter. But before we get into Which that, silly ain't. before we get into that, let's hit up Officer Michael with the Watchman Report. Shalom, Israel, Most High in Christ, bless. Good to be back. All praise of the Most High. All right, let's get started. See what we got this week. New York lawmakers agreed to legalize recreational marijuana. So I guess you can walk around up in New York high as a kite now. Can't have a gun, but you can but have you, a blunt. You can have a blunt. More excuses for them to arrest our people. Next, please. Derek Chauvin trial resumes as MMA fighter who witnessed blood choke during George Floyd's arrest returns. So the guy who's pretty much certified at beating people up knows how a blood choke looks. And he was, if you scroll down just a little bit, he was showing, there was a, a illustration. He showed actually how he was being detained. You got air choke and you got a blood choke. If you see right there, he was showing how that's how you kill somebody. And pretty much some similar was happening with uh, George Flo and the brother lost his life. All right, next article, please. What's with these rappers marrying these women that like linebackers? Exhibit's wife files for divorce after six years of marriage. I guess she took a page out of Dr. Dre's book. That's what scripture talk about. When you go after the Mother Nations, they're going to take half your stuff. Next article, please. Smugglers just dropped them off inside an overcrowded migrant facility in Texas. So these people, these coyotes, are bringing our people over here in Northern Kingdom. They still bringing them over and just dropping them off in the facilities that smoking Joe Biden financed and built. Huh, don't say. Next article, please. 
Colts, Darius Leonard questions why nobody wants to say anything about Chad Wheeler while bashing Deshaun Watson with no proof. So they accused this brother with no proof. A lot like the did Bill Cosby. But the white boy that t- choked the white one, well, choked the sister, said she wouldn't bow to him. Nobody said anything about it. Huh. Nothing. Complexion for protection. Next article, please. Whip under the rug. Yep. Four killed, including child, and mass shooting at Orange Office Complex. Another one in uh, in light of the upcoming so-called Easter, another shooting has taken place. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That one took place in Cali, I think. Next one, please. And finally, this trial again. Key witness to invoke the Fifth Amendment refused to testify. They, yeah, we, we know what happens when that when stuff like that goes down. And this concludes the Watchman Report. That's a shame. That's a shame. Remember Botham Jean, the uh, that star witness. He died like yep. sh- shortly after she got locked up. So yep, we've yeah. seen that before. Yep. Dog on shame. Dog on shame. And you know what's crazy? All of those Christians who say, y'all talk too much about the law, the law done away with. Well, y'all should be happy at what's going on with the trial right now. Y'all, y'all, y'all should be proud that police kill us. Y'all should be happy that we kill each other. Because, hey, there's no law, right? Right? I mean, when, when there's no law, there comes lawlessness. Therefore, that's what we have. Yeah, but the silly Christians don't understand that. They don't. Just like they don't understand that Easter is pagan. Now, on with the Easter. I got to get on Easter. You want to know why? Because Easter has done a number on our people. Uh, A complete number. Let me get Colossians 2 and 8. Let's start off right there. Let's start off right there. I don't care. I'll be controversial as possible regarding this subject. Because all y'all want to do is get new outfits and candy. That's what y'all Christians want. You want new outfits and candy. You want to go, the, the men want to go there to the church so that they can see what outfit the women going to wear. The women want to go there to see what outfit they going to wear so that they can catch the eye of the person that they've been trying to catch their eye all year. They're trying to catch past the eye. That's the person they, who eye they trying to catch. Bring it out. Yeah. Yeah. I know a few of them that they caught my pastor eye. Oh, he could. They caught the eye. They caught a few other things too. <laughs> Doggone devilish stuff. Read that. They caught three letters, huh? It's Colossians chapter two, verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain. You know what a philosophy and a vain deceit is? That rabbits lay doggone eggs. Bring it out. What the hell a rabbit got to do with with Christ dying? A rabbit is a mammal. Mammals don't lay eggs. They have live babies. Bring it out. Exactly. What a rabbit got to what a rabbit and some eggs got to do with, with Christ? Christ life? <laughs> really? What it got to do with Christ? It ain't got nothing to do with Christ. I know who it got to do with though. Why is it? Why is it? That Christianity s- follows these things. They follow these. Read it again. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Philosophy and vain deceit. They follow these things with no questions asked. No questions asked. We tell them, hey, Passover's in the Bible. You got to follow that. Oh, see, now that's the Old Testament. You, you, you following the law too much. But you don't say that to the white man when he tell you, follow Easter. Right. Read on. After the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. After the tradition of men. Easter is a tradition of man. We're going to get all of that out today. Easter is a tradition of man. Man made Easter. Man made Easter. It's after the rudiments of this world. There ain't nothing in the Bible to tell you about a bunny rabbit and some eggs. Nothing. A, 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 a statue of a lady with, with a, 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 a thousand boobies. A bunch of boobs. Oh, you talking about that Ishtar. 
Yeah, she got like forty boobs on 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 in the front, and and that's gonna symbolize what exactly? Fertility. Fertility. And Fertility. That's what bunnies uh, symbolize. But but here here lies the the catch twenty two. How is black people gonna celebrate Easter, which represents fertility, and y'all kill nineteen million babies through abortion? Bring it out. Nineteen million black kids die because of abortion. They get aborted. So, so you saying the most dangerous place for a young black male is his mama's womb? What I'm saying is the most dangerous place for black people. Period. The leading cause of death with black people right now is abortion. Wow. But yet you want to celebrate Easter. Damn. The goddess of fertility. Some of these sisters wound like Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> call it call it womb rack. <laughs> uh. So let's start off with the book. Oh, here we go. We gotta start off with the book. Oh, here with we the go. book. IT, let's get the book. Let's get the book. Do we want to start at 40, on page 44 or you want to start? No, nah, I want to start at the other two pages. Page 29, I think it was the first one. Click right, yeah. Not that one. Next. Right there. Zoom in. We're going to read the two highlighted parts. Yeah. Press the up button. Yeah, there you go. Get, yeah, there you go. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Make sure the people let make sure the people see it. They got to see it. I know those of y'all that ain't on Clubhouse, y'all y'all listen. Oh, y'all gonna listen. Let's go ahead, read that. Sunday sacredness, Christmas, the Christmas tree, Easter, the Easter egg and bunny, hot cross buns and Good Friday, or not. Holy days and ordinances to be kept sacred from the Bible. Whoa, uh -oh. whoa, whoa. Here we go. What did there Esau just what did Esau just tell us? Read that in, part in again. In big letters, caps. Yep. Read that part again. Sunday sacredness. So, so that means everybody going to church on Sundays? Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh. Read. Bang. Christmas. Christmas. You want them, you want them gifts? You want that fat white there man to is. come through your through your breaking and entering and, and leave uh well breaking and entering yeah. and stealing. Because he breaking and enter because he, he the he's in there without your permission. And uh -huh. he eats your cookies uh -huh. and he drank he your, your milk. Yeah, so that's yeah. breaking and entering, uh possibly uh uh theft. Yeah, he's a glutton. Uh depending on yep. what else he takes, might be grand loss in it. Yep. Yeah. Uh he coming and giving your kiss, so then he's taking your credit. For all the work that you did, getting your kids gift, he's going to take all of that credit to it and give it to a white man. Go ahead. The Christmas tree. The Christmas tree that, that catch how many catch on fire every year? Oh, gosh, people, be home, <laughs> people be homeless. People be thousands. homeless yeah. trying to put a dog right. on kitchen, uh, Christmas yeah, tree, tree in an fire. apartment. Yeah. In an apartment. Read. Easter. Easter. So if you celebrate Easter... Yes, it goes with the Sunday worship, the Christmas, and the Christmas tree. Go ahead. The Easter egg. The Easter egg. And you know what's crazy? Now you can actually, you know, you can just get a dozen eggs. Now, around this time, they got eggs galore. They got, like, two dozen, like, the whole big platter of them. The yeah. The 36 trail. Like, damn, they had this before. You know, really? now all of a sudden, And I like eggs. I like eggs, too. But now you can get them in, in bulk. Hmm. Huh. And bunny. Uh-huh. Hot cross buns and Good Friday. Uh-huh. Or not holy days and ordinances to be kept sacred from the Bible. They are not to be kept sacred from the Bible. The Bible don't talk about Sunday worship. Hey, JB, we can't reveal the source of the book. <laughs> I know. If we Jack reveal the, the source up. of the book, the book going to be $9,000 by the time the class over with. For real. Hey, Officer Matthew, them damn hot cross buns and Good Friday. That's them Catholics today, and and some of them them, them other Christians. Hey, that's hey, some Christians. They want them today. They want them donuts. Today. Yep, that's what they want. Look, 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 look. From good so-called Good Friday to Sunday, ain't even three tonight. Bring no. it out. 
It ain't <laughs> three tonight. <laughs> I like you would think a Chris, Christianity will learn how to count. For real. They can't count that tide money. They can't count no days, though, huh? <laughs> damn, read, damn. It. read it again. <laughs> 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 yep. We got a. Uh, Great. Are not how holy days again? Or not holy days and ordinances to be kept sacred from the Bible. But what? But. Was sacred to the ancient Babylonian God. Uh -oh. Whoa! Oh. Woo. So Sunday worship is Babylonian. Christmas is Babylonian. The Christmas tree is it's Babylonian. Babylonian. You listening to them? 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 Oh, y'all! You listening to them Negroes on dog on Facebook and YouTube talking about Christmas tree? in Jeremiah ten is not a Christmas. Can we read that real quick? Oh, Let's get Jeremiah wow. ten. <laughs> Bring it out. Same dudes trying to say the white man is the same dudes ignoring those same books written by Esau telling you what it is. Another one of those that don't mean that, huh? Yeah. Yep. Or oh, that don't mean that. Well, Jeremiah do 10 mean? does not mean no damn tree. Well, why did they write it here in the book? And oh. they say tree in the book. Read it. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 3. For the customs of the people are vain. Uh huh. Are vain, meaning. Are not days and ordinances to be kept sacred from the Bible? Go ahead. For one cut it a tree. Cut it the what? A tree. A what? A tree. They say tree in the book. They cut a tree. tree. Well, out of the forest. How? What allegory can you get from this? It's a tree cut out from the forest. Right there, it says Sunday sacredness, Christmas, and the Christmas tree. Y you know what it is? You don't know what it means from the blue letter. That's what it is. Uh, no, no the, uh, what it means is these Negroes <laughs> still want to bow down to a tree and get presents. That's, that's what it, what it yeah, is. Yeah, that's all it means. What else, when else do they ever cut a tree out of a forest? What, they, what else do they do? Firewood? Yeah. Deck, they, to you deck firewood with silver and gold? Christianity, I'm telling you, that's a hell of a drug right there. It makes us they was making They was making uh, spiral notebooks. <laughs> 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 the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Uh -huh. They deck it. With silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. That's a Christmas tree decorated with silver and gold, fastened down so it don't fall over. That's tree a Christmas stand. tree. And it's an ancient Babylonian custom. Read that part again, but was sacred to the ancient Babylonian gods? But was sacred to the ancient Babylonian gods. Read. Nimrod. Nimrod. Baal. Baal, that's not, that's not the Lord. <laughs> no, Baal. For the idiots out there that oh, swear gosh. up and down that Baal, it means the Lord. It, it don't. It means Nimrod. Nimrod. That's why Baal <laughs> is in, that's why Baal is in parentheses, because Baal represents Nimrod. Yeah, Nimrod. Yep. Go ahead. Nimrod, which is Baal. Semiramis, which is Ashtaroth. And Tammuz, which is Adonis. So, Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz. Wow. It's three Dope. of them. That's what those things <laughs> represent. That's where they come from. Hey, the officer just dropped something heavy on them real quick over there. Try to do it smooth. Too. Yeah, it's three, it's three of, them. of them. That's the original big three right there. That's, yeah. the, nope. that's yeah. the so called Holy Trinity right there. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, yeah. It's it's almost if Christianity was built off Babylon. That is the mystery is. religion that Nimrod was building. It, it is. is. That's Everything why. Matter of fact, get uh Psalms one thirty seven. Let's read that real quick. Well, I had, I hold <laughs> what you had? What you had? I had uh Jeremiah two and eleven. What you got? Read that. Jeremiah chapter two verse eleven. Had a nation changed their gods? which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. Mm. 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 So, mm. They made, so they made Christ and Joseph and Mary, they made them Nimrod, Semiramis, yep. and Tammuz. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. That's what they they made the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost those so that, three. To that garbage right there. They made Passover is Easter. Man. So they made the Queen of Heaven 
they took that and gave that to Mary. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Uh-huh. Mm. Christianity. Read that, read that again. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 11. Had a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory from that which doth not profit. We changed our glory to stuff that don't profit. Easter don't profit you nothing. 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 All it gets you is a little self-gratification because you get a little outfit. That's it. That's it. Ain't nothing else that you get besides cavities. And I'm going to tell you, if y'all come to Passover on former night, it's people way more flyer than they was in the world anyway. Without them damn pastel colors. For Thank real. You. What you was holding? That Read that, Psalms. Psalm 137, verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. So remember the children of Edom. Go ahead. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. Race, R-A-S-E, means erase or destroy it. That's what they were saying. They was cheering on our destruction. Read. O daughter of Babylon. What did they call Esau? O daughter of Babylon. Whoa. So why is it that America is celebrating everything from Babylon? Hey, hey, hey. I because they're the daughter of it. I got a precept. Give me Ezekiel. Give me Ezekiel. <laughs> o daughter of Babylon. Watch what the Bible says about the mother and the daughter. Ezekiel chapter 16 44. 44. I was at 14. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 44. Behold, everyone that useth proverbs shall use this proverb against thee, saying, As is the mother, so is her daughter. So, what did they call Edom? This is Psalm 137, verse 8. O daughter of Babylon. O daughter of Babylon. So, just like the mother. Ancient Babylon, so is the daughter. That's a cool precept. Yep. That's why they do everything that Babylon did. Everything. Everything. Man. Sunday worship, the Easter, the, the Christmas tree, Christmas, the bunny, yep. all of that stuff. Yep. Everything to the T. Let's see. Now, let's, let's get into a little bit of history on this Babylonian custom. Bring it out. Now. Make sure they see this on the screen, too. Yes. Now, heathen philosophy says when Semiramis died, her spirit, like her husband's Ninus, which is Nimrod, became immortal and flew up to the moon and took possession of it. So, Semiramis is the moon god, goddess. Semiramis is the moon goddess. Remember, Jeremiah 10 say, the heathen worship the sun, the moon, and the stars. Mm -hmm. yep. Deuteronomy says it's given to them to do so. Yep. That's what they're supposed to worship because they don't have the one true God. We do. <laughs> so watch this, watch this, watch this. The sun, the moon, and the stars, right? What's Christianity? That's the sun, right? Yep. What's Islam? The, the moon. moon. <laughs> That's exactly. Your, that's your two biggest religions, right? Hey, I, I made thing. a statement. Let's back it up. Deuteronomy 4 and 19. That's I made a statement. Let's back it up. Steve Harvey with that Chris Lime stuff. Yeah, he worships the sun and the moon. Mind. Hey, and get 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 uh get Diana as in X. See. Get Diana. Because the people gotta see it. The people gotta see it. Yeah. They gotta they gotta see the correlation. They got to see it. They got to see it. You got to see the correlation. Because what they do is they change names on you. Much like a lot of y'all devious brothers out there. <laughs> y'all change names on us like we don't know who you are. <laughs> like we don't remember your works. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 19. Read. And least thou lift up thy eyes unto heaven. Uh-huh. So God said, worship me lest you lift up your eyes unto heaven. Read. And when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven, should it be driven to worship them. He said, because if you follow the heathen, you're going to be driven to worship the sun, the moon, and the stars. They worship the moon. Why? Because they believe that's Semiramis. Go ahead. 
and served them, which the Lord thy God had divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. He divided those things to the nations. They supposed to worship that stuff, not us. There's a reason why we're set apart. There's a reason why Bring we're chosen. Bring it out. We're chosen to worship the one true God. They're chosen to worship the sun, moon, and the stars. That's right. Read on in this, in this, in this book. It says, she became the moon goddess, the mother of gods, the queen of heaven. Whoa. She became what? Read that part again. The mother of gods, the queen of heaven. She became the queen. of. This is talking about Semiramis. What was Semiramis called in the New Testament? Get Acts 19 and let's start at verse 24. Acts chapter 19, verse 24. Hey, hey, and this is to all y'all. When we start talking and we start going and, and we start bringing the scriptures out, especially to our sisters, our unrepentant sisters, and they start raising their voice all loud, and then the men join in because they want to they wanna help the sisters out against those big bad prophets, this is what happens. Read that. Acts chapter 19, verse 24. For a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana. For who? For Diana. We're going to see who Diana is. Read. Brought no small gain unto the craftsmen, whom he called together with the workmen. So he made plenty of money off of these shrines to Diana. Read. Whom he called together with the workmen of the occupation and said, Sirs, ye know that by this craft we have our wealth. Uh -huh, read. Moreover, ye see and hear that not alone at Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia, this Paul had persuaded and turned away much people, saying that they be no gods. So Paul was a prophet, and he was turning away the people from these false idols, and the people started to turn against Paul. That's what Demetrius was doing, was getting everybody against Paul. Read. Saying that they be no gods which are made with hands. So that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana. What did he call him? The, the great goddess Diana uh -huh. should be despised and her magnificence should be destroyed. Whom all Asia and the world worship it. That's, that's called the mother of gods. Read the next verse. Read. And when they heard these sayings. They were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. So that's exactly what happens when these sisters get all in their feelings and get loud and the men run to help to them, run to help them against the prophets. They start chanting and, and, and they're full of wrath. Great is the goddess Diana. What, the, what they tell the sister, you a goddess, my sister. Don't worry about what them niggas say. You yep. a goddess, queen. Yep. Hey, jump down to verse 34. Acts chapter 19, verse 34. But when they knew that he was a Jew, all with one voice, about the space of two hours cried out, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. For like two, two hours. hours. <laughs> that was going hard on Paul. But guess what? Paul was bringing that fire for two hours on their behind, too. For like two hours. Two hours. Hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. Go to Jeremiah 7 and 18. <laughs> yeah, you got Jeremiah 44? Yeah, go ahead. We're going we to read that one too. We're going to read that one too. Yeah, Jeremiah 7 and 18. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 18. The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women need their dough. They need their dough, meaning they, 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 uh, they add their... They're leaven into the dough, and they, they press it down when they're rolling it with the, uh, with the big roller. Go ahead. To make cakes to the queen of heaven. Hey, they make cakes. Uh -oh. Hold up, hold up. Because this, right this, this, this is about to. Pause right there. They made turd. cakes. I want you to go back to that article and go to the first highlighted paragraph. Uh, there, there we go. The buns. Yes. On the hot cross hot buns. Cross buns. buns. That's Damn, what they were making. Buns. Right there. That's what they were making. Hey, also. Also, because remember, what was the queen of heaven? What, what goddess was she? She was the god of what? The, she was the, the mother, god, of, all the mother gods, of all gods. Of the moon. Of the moon. 
Which moon shape piece. is the moon? It's like a, a, a crescent or it's round. Oh, it's, it's a circle. It's a, it's circle. a circle. Like them damn birthday cakes. Boom, there, there you, you go. go. There you go. When you celebrating your birthday with the round cake, who you, who you, who you making a wish to? Oh, they logging oh. off right now. Why does the cake have to be round? <laughs> they the logging officer, off right now. Off. You know, you, officer. The views are damn. dropping right now. Wedding cakes be rectangle and all that, but not birthday cakes. Oh, birthday oh, cakes no, be round. No, no, a round cake. <laughs> birthday cakes they be get round. They long flat cake for the wedding, yep. but for birthdays, it's round. They be round. Damn. And and who are you making a wish to? The you putting devil. candles That's on the, the cake? That's the question. You putting the, candles on the cake? And you you making a wish to they, who? They, to the queen of. Then they blow they spit all over and then hand it out to people. Hey, yeah, okay, on no damn cake. Yeah, because we say our prayers to the most this? high, which you really should be praying and not wishing. Who the hell are you wishing to? Exactly. Uh. 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 Hey, Don't man. get mad. Just hey, repent. Go go right go down. Now. Go down hey, again. They big time mad. Oh, we about to. Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait. I heard some wait. feelings real quick. Can I get a scripture? Hey, can we read this next paragraph? Oh, yeah, read it. The mixture of sun worship and the true worship of God brought judgment from God on the Israelites during their apostasy. Apostasy. So, apostasy. Ooh, the ooh, mixture ooh. of sun worship and the worship of the one true God brought judgments on the Israelites. Why? Because we started following vain traditions. We started doing things that God told us not to do. Celebrating things he told us not to celebrate. And we wonder why we got so much crime, we got so much hatred, we got so much evil in our communities. Those are judgments from God. Keep on Keep reading. reading. It's a lot in there. Keep, Keep on reading. reading. We will also study this later. <laughs> <laughs> These festivals to the heathen trinity. The heathen up- trinity. Uh-oh. The heathen trinity is Nimrod, Semiramis, and Tammuz. Zip them up. Go ahead. Body bag east. These festivals to the heathen trinity were observed centuries before the birth of Jesus in Babylon, Persia, Egypt, Greece, Rome, Scandinavia, and other remote areas of the world. That means that this stuff ain't got nothing to do with the Bible. He is that's not right. the reason for the season. He that's is right. not. He's and not. that's why a lot of these Egyptologist dudes... They celebrate the same thing. Ooh. Bring it out. They celebrate the. They celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Easter. Hey. They'll sit on there. We'll, we'll ask them at camp, do you celebrate this? Do you, oh, I don't celebrate none of that. Yes, you do. You be out there with your kids looking for eggs in the grass. Yeah, yes, yeah. you do. Hey, Mojo, we can't give out the, the title of the book. The book will be $9,000 for the show over. Yeah, yeah. That's the only, the only reason why we're not giving out the title of the book is because if we do, Esau is going to jack the price up. Like they do everything else. So, scroll down. Yeah, let, let, let Officer Michael bring out that Jeremiah 44. Jeremiah. So we, still, we still got a lot in this paragraph. Jeremiah chapter 44. Well, you, you want me to start at 17 or you want I'll me to just go, get right, go right, go right to the point. Okay. Got, I don't want to waste no time. All right. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 19. And when we burn incense to the queen of heaven. That is again. Through this ungodly custom kept over a period of time, like I said, wisdom of Solomon 14. There it is right there. And when we burn incense to the queen of heaven uh-huh. and pour out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her? Come on. And pour out drink offerings unto her? Without our men. That go that deflection right there. That's deflection. That is. Well, the men was doing was, it too. Y'all, y'all were doing it too. Did we do it without right them? Us. Y'all was right there with us. Did, did, did we do it without them? I mean, yeah, we was doing that, but did we do it without them? They yep. let us do it. Yep. They supposed to be in charge. Yep. <laughs> you know, right. day, my pastor says my all pastor right. Says yeah. okay. My pastor, my pastor says, says it's okay. <laughs> boy, that defle- deflection goes back biblical times. Go ahead. Let's read this thing again. Okay, um, now, heathen philosophy says when Semiramis died, her spirit, like her husband's Nimrod, became immortal and flew up to the moon and took possession of it. Uh-huh. She became the moon goddess, the mother of gods, the queen of heaven. Read. When her godchild, Tammuz, died, the pagans claimed his spirit became immortal 
and took possession of the East Star, wait which a minute, is you Venus. Got, wait, you got to read that again. When, when her godchild Tammuz died, the pagans claimed his spirit became immortal and took possession of the East Star, so, which is Venus. So, Tammuz died, which was their son. Let's see what, let's see what, remember what the, what, the, what the other paragraph said. When we mix sun worship in with the worship of the one true God, judgments came. Let's see what the sisters was doing. Get that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 8 and verse 14. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. They were weeping for Tammuz. Because in Babylon, that's what our women was doing. Crying for no damn reason over somebody that don't even exist. Crying. So you know what this was, right? This whole weeping for Tammuz, this was Lent. Yes. It was Lent. Ash Wednesday. In case y'all didn't know. Putting crosses on their head. Talking about, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You feeling the spirit? No, you feeling emotions. Right. And then they always have some, like, it don't even be a real fast. Like, they say, oh, I'm fasting. I say, well, you fat? I'm giving up Coca-Cola. Ain't no damn fast. No. I'm, I'm giving I mean, up a, a Negro like that a couple years ago say, yeah, I'm Lent. I said, what the hell is that? You got some Lent in your pocket or something? He said, nah, I'm, uh, I got to give up um, um, they, in Christianity, pork or something. They say you can fast from anything. Oh, you can fast from TV. Like, you can fast from, from, from chocolate. You can fast from looking at uh now and laters. You could you could fast from 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 <laughs> shopping on uh on on the home shopping network. Yeah, make it up as they go. You but can fast from Amazon. They can't, but they can't fast from sin though. And now you no, can't fast no, from making them offers. They don't do those fast from sin. No, 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 no. no. And you know can, what can else? Fast from paying tithes. Oh, they, oh hell no! You <laughs> no, no, can no, no, no. throw it out for that. Got to get them tithes. You know That's what part else? Part of the fast. You know what else, folks? We bringing all of it down. During Lent, they abstain from meats. Yeah. They eat catfish at that. They eat the damn catfish, but they abstain from meats yeah. during this damn lit. So all of this goes back to Babylon. Yep. Uh-huh. Hey, continue reading. That diagon fish here on the coat. When her godchild Tammuz died, the pagans claimed his spirit became immortal and took possession of the east star, which is Venus, that appears together with the sun and moon in the spring. So... That unholy trinity is what they yeah, worship. That's the East Star in Islam. That's yes. That's star in the crescent moon. Hey, and in, in, in masonry, what do they call the, the, the women's side? The Eastern, Eastern Star. Stars. The Eastern, Eastern Star. Stars. Go ahead. This was also known as the New Year Festival. The reason they called it the New Year Festival was because in ancient times, Pagans began their new year in the spring, not in January. Uh -oh. How did they get that uh -oh. from the Bible? Because they mixed sun worship with the worship of the one true God. Bring it out. They took our stuff and flipped it and then made it their own. Read. As Baal, the Lord, as Baal, the Lord of heaven, had his visible home, the sun, so did Semiramis as the queen of heaven. Have her visible home, the moon. So Baal is the sun worship. Yes. Sun worship is Baal. Yes. Moon worship is Semiramis. Go ahead. Tammuz, like his parents, took possession of the brightest lights in the sky. Venus, the east star. So what that got to do with us in Christ? So the biggest forms of idolatry that our people are caught up in. Christianity. Yep. Islam. Yep. And masonry. Right here. There it is. Yep. Yep. Yup. Bruh. I think it was one more page. Oh, wait, wait. Let me see. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Yeah. Hey, uh, get get the next page. Get the next page. Yeah, you saw been to put this out of right. There we go. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Zoom in, zoom in. 
No, no, no. We got to get the other one before that one. Yeah. Page 44. There, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Watch what the book going to ask you. Ask you some questions. Some and, questions. And Esau noticed. Hey, zoom out a little bit more so you can fit the whole thing in there. Yeah. There you go. Has the reader ever wondered what the Easter Bunny has to do with the resurrection of Christ? Uh-oh. What? He asked a question. Everybody wonders uh -oh. that. What the hell, what the the hell a rabbit got to do with Christ? Christ died. What rabbits got to do with anything? It wasn't like there was rabbits outside of his tomb. It wasn't like there was rabbits floating around Jerusalem at that <laughs> time. Nothing. The Passover is about lamb, not rabbit. So You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Read. Or the Easter egg. Or the Easter egg. What they got to do with the Easter? What what the egg got to do with Christ? Go ahead. Like the festival of Christmas and the Christmas tree, they have nothing whatsoever to do with the gospel of Christ. So can Christianity <laughs> please please explain this to them people in Clubhouse? Really? Can they, they ain't, clearly ain't read this. Really? <laughs> what does this have to do with anything? Nothing. Nothing. I, it, I like bang, how this book bang. keep grouping all of the hella like, days together. together. All of them. Because they all connected. Yep. Go ahead. We got another article that's going to show you a whole lot more. Yep. The queen of heaven was also a goddess of fertility. And because the rabbit and the hen were noted for their many offsprings, they were her symbols. Ooh. 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 Talking about fertility. Hey, I think so the he's the on life support right now. Yeah. So the people, <laughs> so the people who couldn't have more kids than us worship fertility, while we, the people who can have the most kids in the world, went we to abortions. Yeah, we we out here giving our children to Molech, and and and, and yep. they got this. They going say on. in New Making York, pass through the fire. They yeah. say in New York, there are more babies aborted than are born. And yet we want to talk about why are they killing us? Why are you killing us? And then thank you, holy. Then they say you can't. Don't judge me. No, let's not talk about. That's different. That's, that's different. Oh, yeah, don't that's talk about that. That's different. That's different, huh? Mm -hmm. that's, that's different. for all you protesting sisters saying no justice, no peace. That's that's for y'all. I got a peace Can for the you. Babies have peace in the womb. I got a peace for you. It's in the form of closing your legs. <laughs> That's the peace. Peace, close your legs. Go ahead. Even the word. Even the word Easter is of. Doom, doom, doom. Next, Next page. page. Next page. Don't keep them don't keep, keep in suspense. They doom, doom, seats. doom. Let's, let's leave names in there. Even the word Easter is of. Uh oh. There you go. You gonna get it. Even the word Easter is of pagan origin. Ah, uh, Easter is of pagan origin. Read. It is Chaldean and means Astarte. This is one of the titles of Beltis. The Queen of Heaven at Nineveh. Whoa! Yeah, don't say. The Queen of Heaven, or Astarte, or Ishtar, or Astaroth, or Diana. Bill yes. Quiz. Yes. Bill Quiz. Yes. That wasn't the same one. What What you're finding out is, <laughs> this is American Gods. This, hey, yeah, that's what hey, it is. for real. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Let's keep reading. There were many symbols that identify with pagan worship, and one of them was the letter T. Or that cross that you're wearing on uh -oh. your neck. This was the symbol of life beyond the grave. That's why they crucified people on boards that look like crosses. Go ahead. And it was also the symbol of Tammuz. For T, for Tammuz. That's why they used it. That's why the Romans had that method of execution. Bring it out. That's why when you walk around with a cross on you, you're talking about Tammuz, not Christ. You walk around with a cross on you, Mark for death. Go ahead. The Lord of death and rebirth. In Egypt, this symbol was called the Ankh. Whoa. So Egyptology is Christianity. Exactly. With a black face. Go Dang, ahead. Dang, they lose again. 
As we established earlier, Baal worship sacrificed human beings, and because Tammuz's name began with a T, they would make wooden piles in the shape of a T. They would make crosses to sacrifice humans, a.k.a. capital punishment in Rome. Yes. And then place their sacrifices on them. They would kill people and put the sacrifices on the cross, just like they killed Christ. Bring it out. And put them on the cross. And you walk around with a cross on your check like you got something to do with Christ. You don't. You a whole no hotel out here. You a whole hotel out yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, whole hotel out whole here. <laughs> whole Go ahead. Tip. In due time, miniature amulets were made as symbols of sun worship. They look like this. So when hey, you wearing hey, an onk, you worshiping the sun. Hey, I need you to... I need you to zoom in on that IT, and I want you to read that part again. In due time, miniature amulets were made as symbols of sun worship. They look like this. That is not a sign of life. That is a sign of sun worship. Sun worship. You simpletons. Sun worship. But look, we about to hit Mikael up with the Cornerstone News, okay? And then we're going to come back, and we're going to continue to smash on Easter. All right? So don't go nowhere. Nowhere. Officer Mikael. Take this away. Hey, Shalom Israel. It's your brother, Officer Mikael, and this is the Cornerstone News. So, hey, look, man, hey, we got... We got 11 days to our true celebration, the Passover, the memorial of Israel's redemption out of Egypt. Click to the next uh, slide. So, hey, with that in mind, Passover registration is back open until the Sabbath, until April 2nd. This is the last call. Make sure y'all go to royaleventplanning.net to register. You have to be congregating with Israel united in Christ in good standing. Hey, don't register if we don't know you. Next slide. Again, there's 11 days left till Passover. <laughs> hey, we got to keep stressing that. 11 days left, man. This is the most exciting time of the year. Next slide. Oh, that's it. Hey, also, make sure y'all go back and check out Shout Out Tuesday. Y'all know our bishop, you know. Like a brother said on one of the challenges, he put in so many bricks, he used it as a background. Bring it out. So, yeah, that concludes the Cornerstone News. <laughs> hey, that reminds me of one of them dudes you run across. Nigga have every piece of jewelry, oh, all kind of idols. Oh, like, well, hell, I don't want I'm gonna say. No, brother, read the scriptures. Twelve chains on a uh, unk, a cross. <laughs> hey, so Molech. look. Hey, go to that to that uh, Encyclopedia Britannica joint. And then Mikael, I know you had you posted some as well. Hey, hey. look. Look, it is what it is. I lot smash on smash, Hulk smash, Hulk smash. You understand? Put that thing on speakerphone, huh? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. This is from. Britannica Encyclopedia. Easter holiday. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll. Keep scroll. scrolling. Right there. Scroll. Right there. Right there. Hey, you, you, you stop. Easter. Latin Pasha. Greek Pasha. Principal festival of the Christian church. Peace out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a Christian church festival, not a Bible festival. Go ahead. And by the way, Pesach does not mean Easter. 
that's a mistranslation. Pesach means Passover. Go ahead. Which celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ on the third day after his crucifixion. Which the Bible never told you to do. Never. The Bible never said celebrate it. And Read. From, and from Friday to Sunday, it's not three days. Did they celebrate when the cop killed George Floyd? No. Okay. Well, you saw that. Yeah, yeah, you saw. They even they even walk around at the Capitol putting their knees on his neck and everything. They little stunts and you know that was yep. wicked as hell. Read on. The earliest recorded observance of an Easter celebration comes from the second century, though the commemoration of Jesus's resurrection probably occurred earlier. Easter is celebrated on Sunday, April fourth, twenty twenty one. Continue scrolling. They always put them little flamboyant little sodomite pictures up. Because they're flamboyant little that's, sodomites. That's, that's some weak. That should piss our people off to see that garbage up there portraying like they're supposed to be us. Yeah. The English word Easter, which parallels the German word Ostern, is of uncertain origin. One view expounded by the, ven the ven venerable. The venerable. The venerable. venerable but they a bee in the eighth century was that it derived from help me out here eostre eostre or eostre the anglo-saxon goddess of spring and fertility same thing is starte yep. as the yep. the same thing is the same thing this view presumes as as does the view associating the origin of christmas on december 25th with pagan celebrations of the winter solstice. Do you see how they just keep tying them both together? Yep, because they all come from the same idolatry. Because they know how people don't like to read, but they just keep putting it right in the same paragraph. Like, hey, look, it's, we going to tell you about this one, they're going to put the other one right beside it, so you ain't got to read that far to find out this other devil. Yep. That Christians appropriated pagan names and holidays for their highest festival. They took sun worship and mixed it with the worship of the one true God. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. There's some other stuff. Uh, go, you know, go. You know, Esau always culturally appropriate. Right here. Everything. The date of Easter and its controversies. Now watch this, watch this. Because a lot of people fell out when this understanding came out. But let's see. Let's see. Go ahead. Fixing the date on which the resurrection of Jesus was to be observed and celebrated triggered a major controversy in early Christianity in which an Eastern and a Western position can be distinguished. The, the dispute known as the, the Paschal Controversies was not definitively resolved until the 8th century. In Asia Minor, Christians observed the day of the crucifixion on the same day that the Jews celebrated the Passover offering. That is, on the 14th day of the first full moon of spring. <laughs> Whoa! That right there. So even Esau knows that the uh. full moon means a new month. He can do math. They didn't. <laughs> they been knew that. They been knew that. Read. The 14th of Nisan. The resurrection then was observed two days later on the 16th of Nisan, regardless of the day of the week. So they always put it two days after. But watch watch what it does. That's the Eastern world. That's the Eastern world. Hey, I got a, 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 a little sidebar for all those that think the dark moon is the new moon. If the dark moon is the new moon, 14 days later would be a full moon, right? Yep. So why would they leave to follow a pillar of light out of Egypt? Right. Oh, so that's too deep. This is how you get them right here. Let Esau stop putting the moon cycle in the newspaper and on the news, and let's see how them Negroes calculate the, the <laughs> damn moon then. Don't, what you tell them, they don't understand. You got to talk. You got to speak Negro Ebonics to them. Stop getting the newspaper that the white man give you and then see how they find out what the moon cycle is. Yep. Uh, Read on. In the West. In the West, the resurrection of Jesus was celebrated on the first day of the week. Sunday, when Jesus had risen from the dead. Read. Consequently, Easter was always celebrated on the first Sunday after the 14th day of the month Nisan. So they always celebrated 
on a Sunday. Mm. It don't matter that it's 14 days. They just celebrate it after the, the, the new moon. Go ahead. Increasingly, the churches opted for the Sunday celebration. And the quarto decimants remained a minority. The Council of Nicaea in 325 decreed that Easter should be observed on the first Sunday following the first full moon. So what did the Council of Nicaea say? Read that part oh, again. Go back did they, did they write it in there? Or did they just come up with a doctrine? The because the Negro <laughs> thinks that the Council of Nicaea made up the Bible. <laughs> Bring it out. Read. The Council of Nicaea in 325 decreed that Easter should be observed on the first Sunday following the first full moon after the spring equinox. So, so the first Sunday after the first new moon, that's when they do it. The new moon is here. It's full. One week later, they put, that's Passover. I mean, that's, that's Easter. That's what they do. So a decree is a declaration, meaning they just said it. Yes. You want to know why? Because Constantine wanted peace. Yeah. He didn't give a damn about the Bible. He just wanted people to not tear his country up behind religion. So we said, look, everybody come together. You state your grievances. You state your grievances. And we're going to put we're going to find some common ground. The common ground that they start that they wanted to do. All right. We're going to celebrate Easter on the first Sunday after the new moon. Can I get a scripture? Go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon 14 and 16. This is exactly what he did. You what you just said is exactly what he did. He said he wanted that peace. He said, okay. Like you say, he turned the country up. What must we do to get order? Let's see what he did. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 16. Thus, in the process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law. That's what he did right there. He made it a law. Yep. That's why I read. And graven images were worshipped. By the commandments of King, he made it a Ooh. commandment for them to follow that hey, garbage, you know that and we right keep there? that garbage to this day. That's a gold. That's a gold. That's, a gold. That's what they, they do. An ungodly custom was made a law. That's why I say law now. Yep. That's why it's a law. Ain't Easter a federal holiday? Yes, it, it is. is. You, you can't all... delete. It. I tried to delete it. Out. It won't let you delete it out your calendar. That's how you know it ain't going nowhere. It's a federal. I'm trying to. Like, damn, I'm trying to create it's a, a federal holiday. Hey, yo, speaking of calendar, if you look at a calendar in this Western world, the new moon, which we keep, the full moon, they it's going to say full moon on there, but the dark moon is going to say new moon. That's what them brothers Negroes, are following. Yep. They want to keep Negroes confused. That's yes, because they're following that because it's clear. That in the Eastern Hemisphere, they know that the full moon is the new moon. Just like they know we the Israelites. They know Christ that. Is black. All they know that. that. They know what it is. They can't, they can't, they can't sit up there and keep us in the dark by telling us stuff that's right. No. Dark moon, keep us in they the say, dark. They say, look, see dark moon. There? Dark yep. moon. Yep. Look, y'all, look, dark moon. We say no, it's it's the full moon. Because Gen get Genesis one real quick. Genesis 1, 16, you get uh, Sirach 43. Real quick, just real quick. Real quick. Just real Smash quick. that thing real quick. Genesis chapter 1, verse 16. And God made two great lights. Lights. Two great lights. Read. The greater light to rule the day. The greater light rules the day. Read. And the lesser light, the lesser light, which is the moon, to rule the night. Read. He made the stars also. Read. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. They give light upon the earth. Read. And to rule over the day and over the night. Uh-huh. And to divide the light from the darkness. Read. And God saw that it was good. Bruh. Light, light, <laughs> light. Look, God say, there's the moon. We say, well, oh, it's, it's dark right now, but, you know, in, in a few days you'll see it. No, that's the moon. Read that, Sirach 43. The book of Sirach, chapter 43, verse 6. He made the moon also to serve in her seasons for a declaration of time. How and can the moon declare time? You got to see it. It's a sign. 
The moon is a sign. Read. And a sign of the world. It's a sign. You can't tell me this is a new moon or a new month and I can't see nothing. That's not a sign. If I say, hey, that's a clothing store right there. You say, how the hell you know that? They don't got no sign. All the, all the signs is in big, bright lights. Big, bright lights. Walmart, TJ Maxx, all is br big, bright lights. Light. How you know you got the golden arches? Lights. lights. <laughs> Read. From the, from the moon is the sign of feasts. The sign of feasts is from the new moon. You got to count from the new moon the sign of feast. 14 days after the new moon is Passover. You got to count from the new moon. You got to. Hey, Officer Matthew, the, the moon was made to rule the night, right? At these signs, they cut the lights on when? At and night, so you can see them. Yes. Yeah, tell How a, can a dark moon rule anything? I you said, can't see it. That's how you got to tell a Negro. Dry down the road. <laughs> what happens when you drive down a dark road with no headlights on? Can the you, moon. Yeah, what can, can you see what the hell you doing? No moon out? You drive with no headlights on? Ignoramus. Hey, People, simple. Get, are you friends with that? That's nice more now. Read. A light that decreases in her perfection. It decreases in its perfection. When it's in its perfection, it decreases. Read. The month is called after her name. The it, month is called after the moon. Why? Because you can see it. You can't call it a new month and you can't see the moon. Go ahead. Increasing wonderfully in her changing. It increases wonderfully in her changing. It goes from a full decreasing, then it goes dark, then it increases again. Read. Being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. Shining. Dark moon over there. Shining. Can't you <laughs> see it shining? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Frankie Beverly. Hey. He knew what he was talking about. <laughs> hey. Break it out. I got one more scripture on that new moon. Let's get second Ezra 6 and 43. Because these brothers say when he made the moon, it was dark first, then it got light. But what is it? let's see. Let's see. Because he said he made two great lights in Genesis 1 and 16. So let's see about the most highest word. Read that. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 43. For as soon as thy word went forth, the work was made. As soon as he said, I want lights in the heavens, that work was made. It was light. It ain't dark and then it got light. That don't make no sense. But anyway, that's not what we're talking about. Let's get back to the Passover. So, I know you had an uh, a article. Yes. Could you please bring up that article? Um... What is the title of that article? It is called An Epiphany. Could you bring that up for me, please? IT. It is crazy. Esau knows you got to count 14 days from the new moon and you get Passover. And Negroes don't. But Negroes can't see that, though. <laughs> <laughs> Negroes don't even got a passport. Try to tell. <laughs> they ain't got a passport. Try to tell us what the, what the Hebrews say. <laughs> Negro, you can't even speak English. <laughs> All right, scroll down right there. Start that. Start right there, please. An epiphany. Many are anticipating the epiphany or manifestation of the Messiah in these times of tribulation. Yes, we are. Scroll down. Christ himself revealed how he would manifest and to whom. He sure did, the Israelites. This article will show the false and the true. Keep scrolling. Read. The word epiphany is one of Greek origin. It is defined as, one, to manifest or to show. Two, an appearance or manifestation of a divine being. Three, a sudden manifestation or perception of the essential nature of being, of meaning, of Basically, I'm going to read that again. Basically, when you get an idea, oh, that's what that means. You had an epiphany. So read where it says the epiphany on January 6th. The epiphany on January 6th is also known by other names, including Little Christmas and Three Kings that's Day. Ephraim it, celebrated the hell out of that. Yep. It says the epiphany is known as Little Christmas or Three Kings Day. 
the reason we're reading through all of this is it all ties together. Because the epiphany is the last day of the 12 nights of Christmas. It's also the first day of carnival season, which carnival season is right before Lent, which is the 40 days of weeping for Tammuz until Easter. Right but watch this. Let's read. The details are tedious. All the different and conflicting ideas given for their meaning of the day only leaves one in a state of confusion. It like, leaves one in Babylon. <laughs> it leaves you in Babylon. A state of confusion. That means it leaves you in Babylon. Read. No epiphany there. Every country has its own traditions for the day. It is a public holiday in many countries and a holy day of obligation for Roman Catholics. Roman Catholics. All these people in, in, in New Orleans are Roman Catholics. And y'all know about these Roman Catholics. Hey, don't scroll past that. I want the, I want the uh, italicized words. Read that. Like other Christian seasons, the church appropriated Epiphany from an old pagan festival honoring pagan god Zeus and Artemis. Zeus and Artemis. <laughs> Read that. The Epiphany. January 6th is the 12th day of Christmas. While it brings an end to the Christmas holidays, it marks the beginning of carnival season or Bacchanalia. Or Mardi Gras. For the Greeks and Romans. Hey, hey, get that. Second Maccabees. Yes. <laughs> get that. Get hey, that. Hey, it, and and it's, it's fitting that you're going to Second Maccabees because when you scroll down in this article, is it going to talk about somebody that talked about the Maccabees? Woo! You want me to start at verse 1? No, let's no, get to the point. Get, get to, to the, the point. point. Okay. We, ain't got, we ain't got that much time to be sitting up there reading stuff. Get to the point. Second Maccabees, chapter 6, verse 7. And in the day of the king's birth, every month, they were brought by bitter constraint to eat of the sacrifices. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, Bacchus or Bacchanal or Bacchanalia, or carnival. Or carnival. Or Mardi Gras. That started in the time of the Greeks. The Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus carrying ivy. We was in the parade giving our substance to them. Ivy was a very, very precious commodity back then. And they made us get it to give to them. And you know what they did? They flick pennies and bread pieces to us. Them damn the Throw pennies. me something, mister. Throw me something, mister. That's where we get it from. Y'all sitting up there celebrating Mardi Gras? You wicked as hell. You need to come out of that and repent. Right. See all these stuff? Y'all see it all tying together, right, Reed? This is yet another indulgent, ancient pagan holiday. Then comes Lent to dry out before the Easter rituals begin. These are all. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It says, <laughs> then comes out. Lent to dry out from all the wickedness you did in carnival season before Easter. Click on Lent. Click on that, on that link for Lent real hey, quick. You wonder why it says dry out? A lot of people may not know that, 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 uh, that jargon. When it says dry out, it's because you've been getting sloppy drunk from the, from the 12th day of Christmas all the way to Bacchanal. You've been getting hella drunk. So now when Lent comes, now it's time for you to dry out or get sober. Uh-huh. Read that. And go get that damn cross on your forehead. <laughs> we going to get there, too. Is that Lent in your pocket? During this time of year, some might ask, why don't you do Lent? My answer is, why do it? Anyone who has, a ch who has had a child knows that the number one question asked their parents is why. This is a valid question that must needs be answered here. Uh -huh. If you consider God's word, there is no mention of Lent the way it is practiced today. There's no mention of Lent at all. Why? Lent is the precursor to the most important holy day, according to some. So why is the practice not found in the word of God? Did Moses say, thou shalt put ash on your forehead? Hey, <laughs> more, more, than likely, more than likely the person that wrote this was an Edomite, but the Most High was moving this Edomite spirit. That's right. That's right. Did Moses say, 
Thou shalt put ash on your forehead on the Wednesday after Fat Tuesday and give up something for 40 days. And you know what's crazy? On Fat Tuesday, a lot of our brothers and sisters, they be getting bust open. Yes, they do. They be getting bust open. So they think, oh, I'm going to get bust open on Tuesday. 12 o'clock midnight come around, I'm going to be holy. That's the same doctrine <laughs> is, I'm going to say, Lord, forgive me for my sins yes. right before I die, yes. and yeah. I'm going to go to heaven. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Finish that. Most definitely he did not. Therefore, we can deduce that this practice has its roots elsewhere. From what I can ascertain. <laughs> According to Alexander Hislop, in his book, The Two Babylons, the 40 days abstinence of Lent was directly borrowed from the worshipers of the Babylonian goddess Ishtar, Astarte, the queen of heaven. That is again. Whoa, wait a minute now. Hey, they <laughs> gave you a book title. Go get it. Yes. <laughs> they gave you a book title, The Two Babylons by Alexander Hislop. Go get Go it. Go get it. Hurry Go up. Go get it. That's your ammo. Go get it. Hurry up. The book that we read from earlier quoted a lot of what's in the two Babylons. So go get it. Yeah. Read that. Among the pagans, this Lent seems to have been indispensable preliminary to the great annual festival in commemoration of the death and resurrection of Tammuz. Oh, wait, 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 Whoa. wait, wait, wait. They thought they were going to say Christ. They thought oh. they were going to say <laughs> <laughs> they, celebrate, they celebrate the death and resurrection of Tammuz. Ain't got nothing to do with Christ. Nothing. Watch this. Watch this. Watch, watch. Which was celebrated by alternate weeping and rejoicing. Like we read earlier in Ezekiel 8 and 16. All right, you can click out of that. So it says, then comes Lent. Then comes Lent to dry out before the Easter rituals begin. Notice they said rituals? Yes. They didn't say Easter holiday, Easter ritual. Yep. Ritual. Hey, I want you to click on that link for Easter now. It, it didn't say ordinances, none of that. And we be dried out because we've been spending damn money since Halloween <laughs> all the way to Easter. You know what's crazy? Yeah, when I was in the world... I used to come around my family members. Now you know you're supposed to, you're supposed to show some sort of respect and not be like intoxicated around your people like that. Right. You used to be, bro. Cool. What? I used to be slap chop, and my people would just look at me like, "Boy, you stupid. Oh, boy, so you stupid. Boy, was, boy, you stupid. Boy, that, look, 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 look at it. Boy, you crazy. Boy." It was crazy. As soon as I start repenting, oh, this nigga done lost his mind. Yeah. Can we get out? Can we get second Maccabee six and four? It was crazy. This is what they do. When I was working, where mm -hmm. I was working at, they had they would have it right there at the church. They where they were doing their little mass or whatever. This is what they were doing right there. They out there, they got booths set up. The, even the police was dropped at the church. They some of them cross the the ashy cross. Yeah, the, the cigarettes uh, uh yeah. ash. It be crooked on their forehead. They be hey, hung hey, over hey, getting the cross on their forehead. This is right. Read that. Second Maccabees chapter six verse four. For the temple was filled with riot uh -huh. and reveling. They partying like hell, Reed. By the Gentiles. Uh-huh, come on. Who daily would harness. And holes running all up and down through there. Yep. That's what you see right before. And that, what, they got a ritual. They get up like early in the morning and they get they pre and They get like yep. three, four in the morning, they getting drunk. Who, they, who consume alcohol that early? What people don't understand is in New Orleans, around Mardi Gras time, <laughs> all of the laws except for murder go out the window. Yep. Yeah. Indecent exposure, public drunkenness, yep. public intoxication, the use of uh, controlled substances. Um, it's like the purge. Yeah, uh, uh, public sex acts. Yep. All, of, all of that stuff is free game yep. until 12 o'clock midnight. When 12.01 hit and you still doing that, you're going to jail. But they give you liberty all throughout Fat Tuesday, all throughout that whole day. Is Easter holy? Is Easter a true holiday 
a holy day in the eyes of God, the majority of those calling themselves Christian think that they practice the customs of Easter in order to worship God. However, they are dead wrong. It said dead wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Read. Many were brought up to believe that Easter is a magical day <laughs> celebrating Jesus' resurrection, which involved painted eggs, the Easter bunny, and hot cross buns. So wait. So when Mary and them went to go visit the sepulcher, <laughs> they was outside the sepulcher painting eggs, and then the angel popped up and was like, hey, what y'all doing? Jesus right. Christ left. Go get him. And they was like, oh, all right. Let me finish painting these eggs right quick. <laughs> Watch this. It might spoil the fun, but every tradition surrounding Easter has its roots in paganism. Uh-huh. And in reality, has nothing to do with Jesus at all. Silly pagans, East, silly Big Christians, Christians. Easter is pagan. <laughs> exactly. In fact, if one looks up Easter in the dictionary, they will find the word pagan. <laughs> so let's prove it right. I go. want you to look up Easter in the dictionary. Let's prove it right. Prove all things. Let's prove it right. Prove all things. Hey, go to Webster. <laughs> go to Webster Dictionary. Go to Webster Dictionary. There it is right Jake there. Mad is here oh, right now. He's taking it. There you go. That, there that you go. There you go. Back. Click it. Now type in Easter. Sister Jenkins done had to t go take her wig back in her big hat. Her wig already crooked and fell off her head. And it's going to be battle of the big hat Sunday morning. Uh-huh. Go to, uh, you got to go to synonyms. Scroll down. It should give you synonyms after the definition. Oh, they didn't change that. Wait, wait, wait. The go. hell is that Marty girl? The hell is this? Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. it all goes. Here we go. Scroll, scroll. More definitions. Okay. Now we should be uh coming up on synonyms, huh? Hmm. Nah, they changed it. Yeah, they changed mm. it. Have you Google uh just Google Easter definition. Merriam Webster's dictionary is the devil. <laughs> they gonna think we making it up. Nah, they 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 see it's too much proof. Okay, scroll down. Click uh translations, more definitions. We should be able to get some words down there at the bottom of it. Uh a goddess. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Hey, but look. Right, right, see right there? Old English, read that. Old English. Eestry e of Germanic origin and related to German Ostern and East, perhaps from Eestry, e the name of a goddess associated with spring. It didn't, say, yeah. it didn't say related to the Jim, Bible. No. It said related to a goddess. <laughs> Don't worry about nah. it. It's, it's all good. They changed it up. Let's hey, go look, back to the article. Let's it is what article. it is. He saw the devil the Bible speaks of. It is what it is. They may not say pagan, but they're going to describe it as pagan. Yep. It says if one looks, in fact, if one looks up Easter in the dictionary, they will find the word pagan in the definition somewhere. For example, Webster's defines Easter as originally a pagan festival in honor of the goddess of spring, Estar, held in April. Yep, now, we probably just didn't say. click on the right thing. It's probably there somewhere, but it is what it, it is. It did say that. It did if, it, say if it said it back then, they know that they had to change it now. Right. Now, watch this. Read that. The KJV has translated pasta as Easter in Acts chapter 12, verse 4, when, in fact, it's Passover. Why would this happen? So, Pesach is Passover. Says, why would this happen? Read that. Who and for what motive would purposely mistranslate the word of God? Why would someone call themselves Christian, a follower of Christ, when in fact they follow someone else? This this kept questions right here. Yeah. The celebration of Easter bears a striking resemblance 
to the Spring Fertility Worship of Babylon. Because <laughs> it's the Ooh. same thing. Same thing. Go ahead. They worship Tammuz, who was of a virgin birth. Whoa! Whoa! Because what they didn't, what they didn't say is that Nimrod and Semiramis was mother and son. Yep. <laughs> it, it, earlier, one of them said that Tammuz was her godchild. Yep. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Semiramis was... and Nimrod was mother and son, and Nimrod married his mother. They had Tammuz as a baby. Yeah. That's what happened. And then Tammuz died. Well, well, Nimrod, Nimrod got his Nimrod cut off. And yeah, he got cut into a, a, a bunch of pieces, but she tried to put him back together and she couldn't find his rod. Yeah, and, and, and raised from the sun impregnated her, so hence the virgin birth of Tammuz. Yep, not Jesus. Nimrod became Nimrod, and she hey, tried let's, to bring hey, him let's back. Hey, let's read that paragraph, though. Watch what it say, though. They worshiped Tammuz, who was of a virgin birth and was also called the Lord of Resurrection and the Redeemer of mankind. This was happening before Jesus was even born. Before Christ even came on the picture. You see that? Because Joseph and Mary had sex. Yes, they did. Joseph hit it. So Easter was B.C., before Christ. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mary was not pregnant from a spirit. Mary was pregnant from the seed of man. That's why he's called the son of man. That's yeah. right, right. Son of man, but not the son of a man. <laughs> Don't make no sense. All right, so y'all get the gist of uh, Easter from this, this part. Go back to the main part. I made a statement about somebody mentioned in uh, Maccabees. Yeah, click the back. Click the back button. All right. It's up to the priests to keep all these dates straight on the calendar. The people need only pay attention to the displays in the grocery and retail stores. For real. And that music, too, because they always set you up with that. The word epiphany, meaning manifestation or showing forth, is observed by the Western Roman Church. Uh -huh. Theopiphany, meaning manifestation of God or divine manifestation, is observed by the Eastern Greek Orthodox Church. One says it celebrates the three kings, while the other celebrates the baptism of Christ. They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> it's all idolatry. They know not what they worship. Wait, 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 don't don't scroll past that too fast. Read that right there. Antiochus the fourth, Epiphanes. Antiochus Epiphanes. A notable ruler of Greece at the time of the Maccabees, yes. shortly before Christ, was Antiochus Epiphanes. He thought himself to be the manifestation of Zeus, much like the present-day Roman Pontifex Maximus thinks of himself as the manifestation of Jesus and his claims to be the vicar of God, Holy Father, and also apostolic succession. That is talking about the Pope. The Pope tries to claim himself to be God on earth, just yep. like Antiochus Epiphany, just like Esau always does. And um, let, me, let me clear something up with this article, uh, the manifestation of Jesus, okay? Uh, Jesu is the Spanish translation or the Spanish pronunciation of Jesus. Jesus. Zeus is pronounced Deus in the Greek. So the Z makes a D sound. So if ignorant Negroes come to you talking about Jesus is Jesus and it's really Zeus, no, it's not. Because Zeus is pronounced Deus in Greek. So that's 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 all I had on that article. Um, so oh yeah, now, let me get Psalm sixty four and eight real quick because sister says something very profound in the comments. Said sounds like the Most High is orchestrating Esau, telling all over himself literally. Yes, yes, that's what it's. That's what's gonna happen. That's what's gonna happen. That's how we capitalize. You let Esau talk for a bunch of centuries. Eventually, they gonna, they gonna tell on they gonna tell on themselves, and we gonna go back because they write it all down. Read. Yep. Psalm chapter 64, verse 8. 
so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> They gonna make their own tongue to fall upon themselves, and that's exactly what's happening. And those of us that are true and repented and actually sincere will hear these words, will hear this truth, and say, "Damn, I need to change. This is wicked. Let me follow the the, the high holy days that the Bible told me to celebrate. Let me come out of the things of the world and that's let me right. do what God said to do, not the tradition of man." Go ahead, Officer Miguel. So, with that, we're going to go to, uh, what's the name of your, uh, your segment? King, oh, Kingdom, Kingdom Music. Music. Yeah. <laughs> look, we, look, we could just do Kingdom Music right now. All right? So, look, y'all who was going to Passover, the Passover concert, I'm telling you the original royalty concert going to be flames. You hear flames. me? Flames. So, yeah, go to OriginalRoyaltyRecordings.com. Look, 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 look. If y'all ain't on these things, bruh, y'all better get on it. Y'all better get on it. This Sunday, April 4th, okay, IUIC Miami is dropping Psalms 149. The judgment written. Y'all better get on it. Y'all better get on it. I'm telling you, there's some surprises on there. One Lily coming with a new album. Just, look, bro. We, look, okay? Y'all better get on it. Y'all better get on it. Those of y'all that's going to Passover, look, be at the original royalty concert if you can. All right? If you can. So we have Jeremiah. Album is Fire Bars. We got Aurel. The brother got the bars, too. All right? And he's still working. Moses, still working. Hey, that thing's a hey, classic, bro. You, that's you look, a heavy just, album. Just, just bump it. You know what I'm saying? He poured his heart and soul on that thing. Patience Saints Volume 2. Get it. Cop it. Ride to it. Read it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got the Sons of Thunder. All right? Y'all need to get on that if y'all not on that already. They got doggone movies up in there. Psalms 149, Volume 1. Y'all need to get on that. These things, this is on OriginalRoyaltyRecordings.com. King David's Hitman. Bro, I'm telling you, this is, this is some stuff that you got to get on. Let us a vanity. If you ain't know, that's my album. If I ain't out. If you ain't know, Matt the Truth, let us a vanity. Get hey, on it. look, look, look. That album right there is fire. That's a classic album. Y'all need to go get that one, too. Letters of Vanity. Go get that thing. Benjavites. Living Martyrs. Hey, you already know the Benjavites coming with that hot fire. And they're coming out with something hot new. Fire. They working on stuff right now. So, Israel, I'm telling y'all, if you don't know, Israel is coming with the heat. Yes. Straight fire from heaven. All right? We taking over the music industry. We creating our own music industry. Because you know they ain't going to let our music up in there. We creating our own music industry. Support That's your right. people. All right? We prophesying through music. Let the Lord uplift you through instruments. All right? That's all I got for Kingdom Music. Most High Christ bless y'all. Hey, so look, Israel, if y'all want to continue seeing good shows like this, give alms, support. Y'all can give alms to the show via PayPal at iuic.neworleans at israelunite.org. Also, once this COVID restrictions are lifted, our leadership is going to continue to travel throughout the four corners of the earth. We need y'all support. You can support that by donating to iuic.fundraising at israelunite.org. So make sure y'all give alms. Also, give alms at your local school. Bills got to be paid. We still in captivity. Israel United in Christ, we are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent, Bible-based movement 
We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat, as stated in Leviticus chapter 5, verse 1. Well, Israel, that has been another edition of Precept Upon Precept. Hope y'all were edified. Hope y'all enjoyed the show. Uh, Lord's will. See the rest of y'all at Passover. All right. See the rest of y'all at Passover. Those of y'all who are not going to Passover, make sure that you keep it with gladness of heart in your respective cities. All right. And remember why we celebrating. We are celebrating the death and destruction of our enemies. That's, That's right. right. So I'm Officer Matthew to my left. Officer Mikael. To the far left. Officer Micah. To the very far left. Officer Akim. We are precept upon precept. We say shalom. shalom.